What's up guys, Andre here and today we're starting a new series on how to build an e-commerce application using Laravel. We'll start off with the essentials like a shopping cart and checkout integration with Stripe and as the series progresses we'll continue to add more features. So if you're ready, let's get started. So here is the finished product, which I'll demo for you now. Um, it's not entirely finished as there are a couple of key features that are missing, but I sort of just wanted to knock out the MVP for you guys. And I wanted to add those features as we progress through the series. So here is the landing page here. Typical hero, like every other website on the internet. Um, here is a section where we list out some of the products. In my original design, I had tabs here, which I wanted to switch between. Uh, we'll add that with JavaScript later on. Um, for products, there's I've only put um, laptops for images. And to distinguish between each laptop, I put a little number in the corner. Uh, eventually, I will add more images for each available product. Uh, down here is nothing. I just wanted to take up some vertical space, so I added this blog section. So yeah, the next page is our shop page. Uh, as you can see on the left, we have our categories here. This doesn't work yet. I only have these laptops available now for the category, but that's something we'll work on later on. We have breadcrumbs here which works as you expect. And we can click into one of the products. And this is the item page. As you can see, there's only one image here. Another feature I want to add in the future is to have multiple images per product. All the details of the product are here. We can add the cart. Down here, I have a related section which randomly picks a product from the database. Maybe later on, we'll make it smarter so it's more likely to pick something that the user would like to purchase. Let's add it to the cart here. So we have a typical shopping cart here. Uh, you can do things like remove it. I have two instances of a shopping cart. I have the main one. I also have one called save for later. Um, if you use Amazon, you see they, they do something similar. So I can move between the instances. So I just moved it from the main cart and into the save for later and you can move back. You can remove it, which I won't do, because we need that. Um, you can change the quantity, which doesn't work yet. Uh, we'll add that on later on. Probably using an Ajax call of some sort. We have a coupon section here, which again, doesn't work yet. We'll work on that later on. We have the totals here. There's tax implemented. And this related section as well. Let's go to the checkout. And here we have all our details for the checkout. It lists all your cart contents here again as sort of an overview for your order. Uh, the billing details are here. And we have a section for payment details, which is using Stripe elements. So if you fill this out, do this, enter a credit card. We are redirected to a confirmation page, and if we log into our Stripe backend, we can see that order right here. And for now, there it doesn't store your order in our own database, so I'm just listing out the contents here, which I will show you. But eventually, we're going to flush out our own orders table so we can save it in there. So that's an overview of the e-commerce application that we'll be building out. Yes, there are still a lot of features that we have to implement, but we'll continue to do that as the series progresses. Hope to see you guys in the next video where we can get started. See you there.